Nicholas Cage and Ron Perlman star in a muddled medieval drama filled with movie cliches and crazy battle montages and the Black Plague. Get ready for the season of The Witch. It's time to get flicked up. <laughs> Hi there, Brett Martin here at Flicked Up HQ, and thanks for watching. 14th century crusaders Nicolas Cage and Ron Perlman return home from a lengthy quest to find Europe in the grip of a black death in Season of the Witch. We've come a long way, my friend. Across oceans, deserts. Seen things few men have seen. The Fuhrer still will believe. The end is in sight. And Christopher Lee plays a cardinal who orders Cage and Perlman to transport an accused witch to a remote monastery where an ancient ritual will hopefully end the plague. But their voyage does run into a few snags and does become quite dangerous, including encounters like uh, uh, possessed wolves and a bunch of other evil things. That the witch is not what I say. I will take the girl, but if she is not what you say, she will not be yours to burn. You're not like the others. Do you believe I'm a witch, Bayman? Don't be deceived. She sees the weakness that lies in our hearts. And what she sees there, she will use against us. You're not afraid of me. Are you? You know, this movie is so bad, it's almost silly. I quit counting how many medieval cliches there were. And to be honest with you, I still can't tell you if this is a supernatural action movie or a dark, demonic horror film. Let's finish this. We're gonna need more holy water. You know, I might not be the smartest guy in the world, but I didn't fall off a turnip truck yesterday either. This plot is so preposterous, and frankly, nothing that happens makes any kind of sense, even if you try to really suspend all reality. Sure, the CGI effects are cool, but come on. The season of The Witch gets a magical one out of five on the flickometer. Sorry folks, I don't sugarcoat things around here either. And as bad as the movie is, the silliest thing on screen is Cage's hairdo. Long blonde ringlets. Well, everybody else has got a military buzz cut. I, I didn't get it. But that's the 411. Hey, follow me on Twitter, friend me on Facebook, or subscribe to my podcast on iTunes. Tell me what you think of the show and send me an email, good or bad. And please head on over to my website for all the reviews at www.flickedup.com. You can also look for me now on multimedia platforms like Boxy, Divix TV, Roku, Samsung, and Vizio. Don't go see the movies without seeing me first. I'm Brett Martin. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, you just got flicked up.